Now that our website is looking really good on the computer, let's head over and have a look at what it looks like in a mobile phone and how the responsiveness of the website works on the smaller screen. Let's head on to the phone and I'll show you what it looks like on a much smaller screen. So as you can see, our learn WordPress is squashed onto three lines. The simple step, big results is on two lines. It doesn't look too great. These three icons and headings are quite squashed together. And I'll build your first website and the bottom section isn't looking too great. So let's head back into our editor on our desktop and fix this for mobile phones. What we're going to do is head to the top here and click on the duplicate section so that your section has then duplicated and we are going to do one section for computers and iPads and a second section for mobile phones that responds a lot better to the smaller screen. So do that for every section we're going to duplicate the second section and duplicate the third section. Then we are going to head into the first section and click on the settings and we are going to go to advanced and down to responsive and we are going to say hard on mobile because this is our desktop version. Head into the second section, click on that, head over to advanced and responsive and click hard on desktop. Let's do that for section 2 and section 3. Hard on mobile for the first one and hard on desktop for the second one. Same for the third section. First one is hard on mobile and the second one And the second one is hard on desktop. Okay, so we have our three sections duplicated and separated between desktop and mobile. So we are going to head into our mobile version and edit it so that it looks better. Remember the second half of this WordPress was on the second line. So we are going to adjust the size of the text so that it does not go onto the second line. So let's take that onto 30 for a subheading. We are going to go a bit smaller, head over to typography and let's make that 12. We're also going to remove that bottom padding and decrease this padding to 100. Decrease that to 100. And make the button extra small. That looks good. Let's head into the second section. And what we are going to do here is add a bit of padding onto the bottom so that it separates. Each section, let's add 30 in there. Let's add 30 in there. And 30 into the last one. And head into the last section. And we are going to center this text. We're going to center that text. And 
we're going to center that start now button and make it extra small. Perfect, click that update button and let's head back into our mobile version and have a look at how it looks on the phone. So on the mobile version now we have a nice learn WordPress and it looks good. Simple steps, big results looks better and we've got nice spacing between our three figures here and nice and centered at the bottom. Well done on completing a nice responsive website. You are now in the top 5% of websites out there which is really exciting and a big step forward in building your first website. Let's get right into the next lesson.